Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have another mic right here. It's from Fine Fine. They uh, sent me this item review. This is for the Amplegain AM8C. It's a gaming streaming microphone kit. It says here it's on a USB-C connector or it has USB-C connector. It also has an XLR connector, dynamic mic capsule inside it. And if I believe since it says microphone kit, so I think it has it also has the uh, uh, microphone's uh, arm or boom arm on that matter. Here at the back it says gaming uh, streaming microphone. Yep. A clean detailed voice, dynamic cardioid. Okay, so there's a dynamic cardioid microphone. It has convenient USB C con um, USB connection. It's a studio XLR connection, quick mute, volume control. Almost the same thing as, I think this is, yeah, Fine Fine K688 podcasting mic that I have right now. But this one is, uh, you know, um, cylindrical or circular. Uh, while at, or as you can see with this one, this is more of a square type, if I may. Without further ado, let's open this up. We're also gonna be comparing it with my, uh, the other fine fine right here, and maybe my main mic right here from uh, Sennheiser. So, opening this up, the box, uh, it's pretty light, by the way. Um, pretty simple and all that. So, I am seeing the user guide right away, man, uh, instructions manual, better output sound quality. It has contents, what's in the box, product, dis production description. And then function key instruction. So this is how we're gonna be. It's almost the same, again, the same with the uh, previous Fine Fine mic. Um, you just tap, it's a touch button uh, type. And then there are two knobs. This is with RGB. So I guess if you guys like lighting and RGB and all that, then you might like this better. The um, is AM8T over the uh, podcasting mic, which is, there's no RGB on this one, except for the, uh, I guess the mute button right here and power button, I guess. But anyways, I digress. This is where it is. It has a static single color, dynamic RGB flowing and all that so open this bad boy up okay so pretty simple but i like the fact that everything still looks neat and all that and you know it does come with the uh microphone boom arm right here this is a little light though compared to the last uh boom arm i uh, what i call this i reviewed or i had or i have right now i'm actually using it on my main uh, workstation right there but pretty uh, you know pretty standard it's the uh, same fine fine boom arm right here it has this um, adapter in case you know you have different sizes for the mic but this one is already in here so we're gonna put it back pretty good lightweight but still durable so we have a USB-C type on one end and USB-A on, um, on the other. I'm not exactly sure how long this is, but we're gonna check it here on the instructions manual. So it's about 8.2 feet or 2.5 meters for the uh, USB-C to USB-A uh, cable. Yeah, here's the base for boom arm right here or the microphone arm. Basically, you just put it in, pretty easy, and then you snap it in on the, on the uh, what do I call this, on, this on, on any table, basically, or where you're gonna be putting this. So we're not gonna put that for now. Uh, I am more interested with the mic itself right here. I'm actually a little excited, um, even though I already have the uh, other one. So uh, right off the bat, as you can see, there's a visible difference. This one looks, um, you know, a bit square, cubic or squarish. This one is circular or cylindrical right here. That's one. Uh, the other thing is uh, the K688, uh, the, the knobs and the controls and connectors are, are on the back. This one though, it's, um, I guess it depends on how you're gonna be putting this in, but on the, on the side, there's a, the light button right here or you just tap, the two knobs, uh, one for the volume and one for the speaker right here. Uh, I guess mic gain up. And then at the bottom, or I guess behind the mic, whichever orientation you have, you have an XLR cable right here, as you can see, XLR cable, and then USB-C, and the um, headphone jack right here, 3.5 headphone jack, and it has a uh, fine fine logo on, the, on each side on the other side and stuff. Also, yeah, this is quite interesting. I, I kind of like this one as well. Um, it's This is made of metal, at least the stand, or the, yeah, the, the, the stand of, of this microphone. This one is, the other hand, this K688. Not sure if it's hard plastic or pure metal, but I think this is uh, plastic, if I'm not mistaken, hard plastic rather. This one, let me make sure. 
Yeah, it might, this might be metal. Um, I'm pretty sure this is metal. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we are going to test this out. Oh, by the way, yeah, there's a big logo right here. Um, so I guess this is the indicator. Uh, so you'll know if it's um, on mute or not. I think it also has this one. Yep, yeah, this is just a little bit different right here, if you see. It's a bit smaller right here, but you know, they are they are good indication indicators. Right? So we are going to hook these two up. Let me see. I'm going to try to check if I have extra XLR cable because I want to compare all these, oh, these three with an XLR uh, cable so you know we can really compare uh, each sound and all that. Alright so you can see three mics in front of me right now don't mind the setup like you know uh, I want to compare the how they sound and all that. This one in the middle right now this is the uh, Sennheiser it's not really a podcasting mic I think it's more for it's more for instruments and stuff but I kind of like the uh, audio quality when I'm using it here on my echoey uh, studio or room and the one on the right is the fine fine k688 uh, this is the podcasting mic that i use on uh, on my workstation right here on my, on my right side and this one is the am8t uh gaming streaming mic that we are reviewing right now i want to compare this one to the other two let me know how they um all sound i also have this monitoring right now on how they really sound i can hear some echo here uh at the moment we're not i'm not treating anything right now i just wanted to see how they all sound so they all have about the gain knob at least for these two all are about five between five to six so closer to the uh, gain out of five on these two if i'm not mistaken the one in the middle it does it all three of them have are also uh set up around between seven to eight on the gain up on my zoom h8 uh, audio recorder so hopefully you guys can see any difference but let me see hello test okay so i'm really close right now so this is the uh, podcasting mic i actually can hear a little bit of uh, when i do the so there's a bit of a thump there. Uh, yeah, it might be uh, clipping on my Zoom H8. Uh, but anyways, this is how the uh, Sennheiser um, mic uh, sounds right now. So let me go back to the podcasting mic. So this is how it sounds. Um, I don't know. Um, there is a subtle difference maybe but, uh, compared to this one. And this is how the the AM8 AMAT uh, mic sound right now. I'm actually surprised it's quite good, at least what I'm hearing here on my headphones and stuff, especially at this close right now. Surprisingly, it's not clipping, if I'm not mistaken, compared to my uh, podcasting mic right here. So this one has really a good uh, thump. What this one? It, I mean, it does, uh, uh, at least for my uh, Zoom H8, so I don't know how when I record it or when I do this on the post-production, how they all sound, but right now I'm kind of liking it. So far, I mean, I still like how this sound, I guess for, especially for it here, but this one is really, I like it when I'm using it on my uh, workstation, especially when I'm playing games and all that. And uh, at the same time doing Zoom and uh, business, uh, you know, meetings and all. But this one really, so, this is really close i like it let me know how they all sound if i'm this far how about like from behind how are they picking up i want to see how they all um, perform or how they output one difference this mic has over the other two is uh, the rgb light i'm trying to let me try to see if i can turn them on Yep, just as I thought, um, the RGB light actually turns on when it's connected to the USB. Let me press it in, so it does cycle a little bit. If I'm, yep, single color cycle when you tap, one tap. If you tap and hold, it turns it off, tap and hold again, it turns it back on. There is also a, like, a tip on here on uh, instruction manual that if uh, you need to connect the mic with a different type device via uh, type C, you wanna connect the XLR port, or if you, if you, if you wanna connect the mic with type c and the xlr port you want to connect the xlr port uh first before the usb type c because sometimes it says uh, or they there or there may be no sound from the xlr connection so you want to do the xlr first one mute button uh tap the mute button on, so okay so if i tap it i'm not sure <laughs> if they are let me turn off both of Okay, so at least for now, uh, I'm turning off all the the other two knobs, so I can just I can only hear this uh, 
mic right now, at least on my speakers. So basically it says uh, to tap it and it should turn red. The The mic button is green, it's lighting up right now. It's at, if I tap, okay, so it's a little hard. It's a little hard to turn it off the green button or yeah, the, the mute button for some reason. You normally it just like works right away with, especially with this one, I like, which, which I like. Anyways, I digress. This is how it uh, sounds. It's pretty good, especially for the price. This is about uh, $72, but it's on sale. It's on discount uh, for $4. So it's about $68 right now at the time of recording on this one. This uh, mic right here is, this is on sale as well. This is a, a little more expensive, regular price it says here at the time of recording is uh seven six dollars but it's on sale right now for 58 or 59 dollars 58 and 39 um for the this uh podcast the k68 and this one is what was it again i forgot so this is 68 dollars and the other one is 58 uh well on sale right now this one has rgb and i think it's uh, it's still good especially when you are um using this uh for usb and all that so i'm gonna try to use this right now or I'm gonna take this off. So everything, okay, these are all XLR uh, connection right now. I can actually hear my fridge on the background. It's quite sensitive because I've, I've, ga I've increased the gain, all the gain up right now. I think it's pretty good. The The only thing I, uh, I guess I'm a little disappointed is when you're uh, connecting to the XLR, RGB, to, RGB lighting doesn't really work. Uh, it's, it's a little hard. It's kind of iffy to uh, the, uh, for the, um, the mute button right here to tap. It does work, uh, but not most of the time, I guess. But overall, it's pretty good. I like it, especially it comes with a boom arm. If you like RGB, uh, this is a really good uh, quality mic. Um, just for those minor uh, issues I was experiencing all that. If you don't want RGB and just like, you know, make sure everything is just for podcasting, I think this is slightly better um, maybe for the, you know, the input quality uh, for the mic quality. I don't know, it's just my prefer personal pr preference, but leave a comment down below, which one do you prefer? If you uh, are getting one of this or both, I gotta stop talking. That's it for this video. Don't forget to smash the like button. And if you haven't, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm lost with Killer Beat Nomad. See you in the next video.